Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans? We are in the town of uh, Wheaton, Illinois, and we are at a place called Cantigny Park. Um, this was the former home of uh, Joseph Medell and his grandson, Colonel Robert McCormick. They were the publishers and the originators of the um, Chicago Tribune. And that's how they made their money and their vast fortunes. Um, it is named after a town in France where a big battle took place uh, in World War I. Uh, and that is where Colonel, uh, uh, yeah. McCormick? Colonel McCormick, thank you. I just I, I lost my train of thought. Colonel McCormick fought. Uh, so there is also a war museum here, um, <laughs> which Becky's not too fond of, but it is um, <laughs> always got to be interrupted uh, by the phone. Um, but uh, it, uh, yeah, so it, but you'll notice. Uh, I'll show you guys the mansion uh, right now. The mansion is actually closed for renovations, um, but we're gonna walk around the grounds they have beautiful gardens around here um of course it's very early spring but uh you know all through from spring all the way through summer uh the gardens here are just fantastic so uh we're gonna walk around here uh because today it's a good it's it's good to be uh your own boss sometimes because you can look ahead see it's been a long winter <laughs> And uh, found out that it's supposed to be now, it started out being like 83, and now it's supposed to be 87 degrees today. It's almost too hot. It's almost too hot, yeah. But it's uh, it's already 70 degrees. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. The, play, the place just opened. Um, so we're going to start walking around. Um, and uh, when I take you in front of the mansion, uh, we'll show you some uh, spots where some movies were filmed here. Um and uh, some good ones too. So uh, not those bad movies. Not those bad movies. No. So <laughs> all right. So uh, let's go on uh, and check out the mansion and the gardens and uh, have some fun at Cantig Cantigny Park. So this is the visitor center, and it tells all the whole story about uh, starting right here in 1894 with uh, Joseph Medill, and shows pictures of the house. The Cantigny Farm Main Residence, the McCormick House, circa 1918. But they had their stables, and but it tells the whole, the whole story, all the way around. And this is the cool part. Look at this thing. This is a model of Cantigny, which accurately reflects the buildings, the grounds, the estates. Uh, the estate is approximately one mile on each side and totals nearly 500 acres. The scale of the model is one inch to 25 feet. But this is like all the, uh, like the golf course and buildings and parking. Let's go around this way. There's the, there's the house right there, the big mansion right there. And we are right in this building right here. So Becky and I actually parked when we were talking to you where that yellow school bus is. <laughs> so we're inside this building right here. And we're going to walk on over and through some of these gardens and things like that. I'll walk on over to the mansion and show you the mansion. And over here on this mural, this is uh, Colonel Robert McCormick, uh, and this is his place. So even though it is a beautiful and nice day, it is super windy today. So I am hoping, we can take our mask off now, we're outside. Uh, but I'm hoping that though the wind doesn't affect too much of this. I, I apologize if it does, but 
when you first come out of that visitor center this is the beginning of the gardens right here with the fountain over there and the mansion is way over there so but we're gonna just kind of walk through these gardens and look at it, it's springtime there's buds coming up and flowers already gorgeous stuff that's the visitor center that we just left but th there's a wild turkey over here you see him walking there oh look at him he's fanning out his his tail feathers for us that is awesome look at him go as God is my witness I thought, I thought turkeys, turkeys could fly, could fly. <laughs> so you never know what you're gonna see here and at Cantigny <laughs> I think he likes you Becky he's presenting himself to you yeah, he is posing. Are you posing for us, buddy? Huh? He's going to come over and just kind of say hi, I think. I don't know. There he is. What's up? <laughs> you're a ham. You're not a turkey, you're a ham. <laughs> so just letting everybody know, stay out of the fountain. It's going to be hot today, Becky, but no swimming. Damn, and I wore my suit. I know. No, I didn't. Your birthday suit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a white bud tree. A white bud tree, yeah. But remember, we were we in Red Bud, Illinois? Yes. They have red bud trees. They do have red bud trees. I remember we were in Red Bud a week before someone in Red Bud. We were, we were there the week that one of the record-breaking uh, lottery, lottery tickets was sold in Red Bud, and we could have bought a ticket, but we did not. <laughs> could have been us, Becky. Could have been, but it wasn't. Over here, they got the tulips going already, and look at all these beautiful flowers. I like pansies. Pansies were Barb's favorite. Pansies, yeah. Yeah, she loved pansies. It smells good. So I'm hoping we can get over by the, because it's a construction area right now. Oh, we can't. Okay, good. So yeah, as you can see, so things are just starting to bud and I like those purple trees. Knock on wood, this April we didn't get much snow. No, we didn't. We usually get one good storm. Yeah. But look at their backyard. This was just their backyard. That was a pool right there but look at the size of this house and this is just the back of the house <laughs> man that is something what movie was shot here man well well we'll talk about that when we get over there <laughs> but look at all this land it is one square mile it is a mile from the corner to the property over there and then a mile that way and Lots of land. <laughs> These are some pretty trees here. Look at it. starting to flower. Very nice. Look at this tree trunk. Look at the branches and stuff. It's all twisty and turny. I like it. It's got some pretty flowering buds there. Yeah. All right, so uh, if we uh, come up here, I do believe this is the final resting place of Colonel McCormick. I will read and let you know. So this is known as an Excedra. It was an ancient Greek semi-circular open air sitting place usually erected beside a temple or some heroic edifice. And, uh, but it's a place for casual gathering and conversation and such. 
And if we go right up here, in between the guarding dogs, there is the Colonel's wife, Amy McCormick. Born 1880, died in 1939, buried with full military honors, and here is the final resting place of Colonel Robert McCormick, born 1880, died 1955, and buried with full military honor. And it says here, you can sit here, like I said, uh, but it says, I go to prepare a place for you. In my father's house are many mansions. So yes, they are completely renovating the mansion right now. So it is not available for tours or anything like that. But you might, we're on the side uh, lawn. And you might recognize this part of the house. Uh, and more so maybe from this view and looking down to where Becky is down there by the pool uh, in the movie A League of Their Own. This is where Mr. Harvey, this was supposed to be the Harvey Mansion from Harvey Chocolate Bars, <laughs> and Tom Hanks had a discussion about coaching the all girls baseball league and all that happened right here by this staircase <music> becky i hate to tell you this <laughs> but we must go up an incline. Why? So we can see the front of the house. I see the front of the house. <laughs> now, many, many moons ago, this actually used to be the entrance. There used to be big, huge, fancy gates on either side of this uh, uh, when the McCormicks lived here. But uh, after his death, they actually put a big fountain here. Uh, but so when, but when he used to drive up to the house, this used to be a big, long drive and these big, beautiful trees here. Um, but if you see that house right there, uh, so three, three movies were filmed here on the, on the exteriors. This uh, was, of course, what I was talking about with A League of Their Own. It was the Harvey Mansion. Uh, it was in the movie Richie Rich. This was Richie Rich's uh, mansion. And one of my favorite movies. I don't know why. I, I, it just cracks me up. I think it's one of the funniest movies out there. Baby's Day Out. Uh, and this was the mansion from Baby's Day Out. But here, it's a pretty good shot of the front of the mansion. Doing some major, major, major construction and renovation. Shame, shame, shame. Look at people have carved their initials into this tree and the one over here. And ouch, carving into the bark of this tree is killing it. Letter by letter, every cut into this beech's very thin bark reduces its life expectancy by slicing directly into the vascular system that transport water and nutrients throughout the tree. A healthy beech can live more than 300 years, so please show this tree the care and respect it deserves. Do not carve, cut, or graffiti on it. Becky wants to get rid of our deck in the backyard and she wants to build one of these pergolas out there and put some pavers out there. And uh, 
Put some tables and chairs and a fire pit. Yeah. I hate that deck. You walk you step through it. Oh my god, it's rotting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so they're uh, look at they're planting all those different kind of bushes and flowers and stuff over there. That's a nice shot of a it's a nice shot of the uh, uh -oh. the fountain. Let's walk around this way, Becky. Let's look at all the tanks. <laughs> All right, so this is the first tank company, the Big Red One. Look at... It's an M1917. The M1917 six-ton tank. You load six-ton tanks, and what do you get? Oh, don't even. Oh, sorry. Okay. Bad. <laughs> the speed was 5.5 .5 miles per hour. And there was only two people that would be in there, a gunner uh, and the driver. Obviously. Not, not a huge tank. No, he's a little guy. Yeah. This is the M5 light tank. Top speed, 35 miles an hour. Yeah, that's much faster than me. That would run me right over. Yep. And there was four people in this one, a driver, a co-driver, a gunner, and a commander. That seems like tight space for four people. Yeah. 16.5 tons. That's a uh, look at this two, four, six, eight, ten. That's the the weight of 12 regular cars. That's a pretty big tank. Let's see what kind of tank this is. This is the M24, Becky. This was 20 tons 35 miles an hour also had five uh, crew a driver co-driver gunner loader and a commander so one more than that one each tank just keeps getting bigger it is very big and it's got a very big cannon on it this uh but this one only had four oh. this was a driver a gunner a loader and a commander but this is 26 tons. tons, speed of 45 miles an hour. Now we're getting, now we're getting up there. 26 tons is almost 19 cars. Yeah, that's crazy. The Vietnam War. Vietnam, huh? The Walker Bulldog. Yeah, the M41A3. And this was considered a light tank. <laughs> so they got this nice little creek that goes all around the this is the the war uh museum we won't be going in this today nope. but it is open uh but for an extra fee and uh i'll put uh, i don't know how much it is but i'll find out and i'll put it uh right right down there right below Got some other tanks over there. We'll go back over there and we'll check those out. Um, I'm going to avoid the children as much as I can. Uh, that one's kind of cool, but uh, there's a bunch of kids up on top of it. And uh, then there's this one right here. So uh, let's get a little information on this one. This one's the M47. Fifty tons. That's <laughs> this is a uh, Patton. They called it, uh, but it was uh, during the Korean War. Thirty miles an hour. Fifty tons. That's almost thirty-six cars, folks. Five people: commander, gunner, loader, driver, and co-driver. Man, look at that. This one is very colorful. <laughs> This one is the M46 medium tank, and they were 30 miles an hour. Commander, gunner, loader, driver, and co-driver, and almost 35 cars, 48 and a half tons. That's 97,000 pounds to you and me, folks. Look at this one. They even had a little. This was the rear gunner. 
right here. Oh, and it swivels. <laughs> yeah. So nobody could sneak up behind them even. This had five, a commander, gunner, loader, driver, and co-driver, 48 tons, 20 miles an hour. I have lost my wife. <laughs> Where's Becky? I have lost Becky. I like these flowers at the, right at the edge of the creek. Is it a creek, Becky, or a crick? I guess depending on what part of the country you're from. Well, hmm? you would pick crick. <laughs> the old southern boy I am. <laughs> yeah, look at all these. Nice colors here. Yeah. The tulips here. I won't say the old joke, so. Oh, please don't. <laughs> Purple daisies. Becky just pointed them out to me. That's really like pretty. Gerbers. Huh? It might be Gerber. Gerber? Yeah, Gerber daisies. So this is the first division museum. Lot of a uh, lot of changes have made since last time Becky and I have been here. <laughs> Last time Becky and I were here was like 1990. <laughs> it's like right after we first started dating, we came here. There's a big old cannon right there. Very quickly, this place is starting to get busy. And uh, it's hard to get a pitcher or a tank without a child on it. <laughs> Look at this little guy over here. Let's find out what that is. This is the M113 Armored Personal Carrier. Look at the little guy. It's only 12.3 tons. Oh, my. And Nine cars. it was commander, gunner, a driver, and up to 10 infantrymen. 11 infantrymen. Oh, 11. What did I say? 10. 10, sorry. And it went 40 miles an hour. So, this is just more of a more of a transport than anything. I like that one, but there's, like I said, there's children all over the place now. <laughs> all right, we'll talk about one last tank here, and that was this one right here. And this is a M551 Airborne Assault Vehicle. Carried a driver, a gunner, a loader, and a commander. 17 tons, 45 miles per hour. But look at, he used to shoot up in the air and he used to sh shoot down uh, planes and stuff. And it was also designed to be amphibious. And just on the other side of the tank park, there's more paths with flowers and oh, lots of nice, neat things. So, And we're coming back up to the visitor center where we first came in. And over there, you'll see those, uh, like the white buildings over there. That was the original farm. Because uh, this used to be a big old farm. Way back in the 1800s. I really hope the wind didn't affect this uh, video too much. <laughs> Becky's trying to get a picture. Is that the bleeding heart? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, so, we get these little little gusts but they're pretty powerful but that's what she's trying to get the picture of there the bleeding hearts so i see quite a few school buses i bet there's some field trips going on today for the kids that are doing in school learning Hey, Becky are gonna, and I are going to go back into the visitor center. They do have a gift shop here. Maybe they have a refrigerator magnet, Becky. Who knows? We'll find out. Okay. That's some... There was a riveter. Yeah, 
Rosie the Riveter. They got pens and hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> they got a book on Ruth. Ruth Bader Ginsburg's The Last Interview. Look you can at make that. A dog tag. You can make dog tags. This is a dog tag maker. Check that out. How cool is that? And there's all the things to make your dog tags. That is awesome. So if you ever wanted to know how dog tags are made, <laughs> this is it. That's pretty for the for outside. You got, they got dragonflies and butterflies. That's all pretty cool. There's another shop back in here. T-shirts and grenades. <laughs> what is this? Veteran owned, 86% peppers American grown. So these are different kind of peppers uh, and things and sauces. Uh, and they're, it's all veteran owned and they, the bottles are shaped like hand grenades. <laughs> So, hats and umbrellas and bags and all sorts of stuff back in here. They even make uh, hand grenade uh, mugs and uh, veteran roasters, Cup of Joe. Enlisted light roast. <laughs> so when you buy a bag, you support a veteran. How about that? Some t-shirts. That's a nice t-shirt right there. Can't take me apart. That's really pretty. I like the maroon one too. Bless you. And this one has got the soldier on it. And uh, I'll show you the statue of it. Uh, it's right out front. Hey, we found out that turkey lives here. Uh, so I got postcards with pictures of the turkey. What's that? Yeah, he's all posing because he's used to posing. <laughs> but look at, you can see like they got like a butterfly garden here. And uh, they got pictures inside the, the mansion here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What are you laughing we'll about get a here? With you. Oh, we're gonna get a magnet! Yay! <laughs> and they got with the turkey on it. Well, they have a couple, but I like the turkey. Yeah. Let's see their. Let's see all their magnets. Oh, they got a thimble and the. What is? Did we see spoons. that? I didn't see them. Um, <laughs> that's because it's not all full yet. Oh. <laughs> but you've seen the yellow bench. I'll, yeah, sh I'll, cool. sh I'll show you all the yellow bench when we get outside. So but turkey, no, right? I like the turkey. Yeah. And then this one, what's this one? That one's got the mansion on it. This one's got the gardens. And like I said, we were, we, we actually walk right by there, but a lot of the flowers, of course, are not in bloom yet, but very soon. Now, just so you know, uh, they do make their own honey here because they do have bees here and uh, it's Cantigny wildflower honey and uh, they got tropical orchard elixir uh, flower syrup. How about that? So right outside the visitor center there's that yellow bench I was talking about and I'll show you the soldier and there he is just as you're going up to the visitor center, which is right there. You got the... It's called the Lion. It's called the Lion of Cagney. It's the Lion of... Cagney. Can Cantigny. Cantigny. Sorry. Sorry. The Lion of Cantigny. And one more shot of that yellow chair there. There was not one car out here <laughs> when we parked. That lot is getting pretty full, and it's like I said, there's even school buses here, so I think there's some field trips going on here.
All right, so that was Cantigny Park and the McCormick Mansion and the land around here and the gardens. Uh, so, as always, if you like what you see, give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Keep it safe, keep it sexy. And if you uh, want to correspond with us in any way, uh, I will uh, leave you our P.O. Box uh, information down below. And we'll see you next time on Where the Heck Are the Albans? <laughs> Bye, Bye, everyone.